This episode, if you remember the movie Johnny B. Good with, uh, what's his name? Uh, um, I forgot his name, right? But anyway, he was in, uh, Weird Science. He was the blonde, right? What was the thing? Uh, anyway, this one here, they're recruiting this guy from another, uh, town who's a football star, right? And they had him with the painted ladies, right? <laughs> now, this here is the point, though. Oh, no. You can all have your what? Prodigal son experience, too, right? You understand what that means, though? Right. You're all capable of being either the son of God or the prodigal son. But you don't any more judge the prodigal son than you judge the righteous brother who stayed with the father. Right. That's the message there, too. Now, do, does the prodigal son have to repent? And confess his sins? Yeah. Yeah. So he's the football star, right? And this is, you know, a pro can become a problem with that too, right? Recruiting for college, okay, you're supposed to make me for education, right? Uh oh, the hot chicks again. Uh -huh. See, see, I yeah, know. That's corruption, too. That's corruption, too. Right? A different kind, right? It's like, you know, again, the parents who got their children in the school and play money to do that, right? You can't do that. <laughs> Well, I'm not saying Mr. Trump can't get you for 25% of your property either. Why can't he do that, though? Because real estate laws are different than, than the criminal laws, right? Now, if he can do that and you don't have a choice but to go with this real estate company, that's a that's the point, right? But you feel he's taking advantage of you, don't you, though, right? That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Someone does you similarly, right, to what he was explaining in his seminar, right? And that's why I can use it as an example, right? See, someone tried to do that with our house, right? See, what Mr. Trump don't realize is he made that a coincidence, right? When he made it a coincidence and they said the same amount, 200000 and you pay one fifty, right? Yet you sell it for one seventy five, right? You're making a 12% profit there, right? Right. Or 12 and a half, actually, right, right. Well, see, that's why I know about that, because that's what they do with um, me, Ma's property, my grandma's, right? So, coincidentally, even though I signed a sign of NDA, right, I can talk about it abstractly because the same amount they used during the representation is the same amount our Mima's house sold for, right? One fifty, I know. It was worth two hundred, and that's what the guy was talking about at the seminar, right? When you were to do a deal with someone. <laughs> and Mr. Trump's got the backing of the bank, right? Right. So did the people who bought the again my grandma's property, right? But they bought it for 150, not 200, right? 
Mm-hmm. And see, I'm educating you with scams like that. To us, that's a scam. Right. In our opinion, critiquing what Mr. Trump was talking about through what happened to us, too, right? I can legally do that <laughs> as a critique of his system, right? I'm not disclosing, okay, any big secrets mm -hmm. that you ain't see on TV either, right? When they do flip that house, Trump does the same deal. Yes. Yes. And, uh, it's the same thing. You're, you're buying a property under the market value at a lower price, no. And you're reselling it at a higher price. That's what flip this house is too, right? That's what you do, right? You fix it up, right? Well, like with my Meemaw's house, right? They totally revamped everything and made it into a radiator shop, right? And garage, right? Because the land was long enough to do all that with it too, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. But the radiator shop ain't doing a good business. I know it ain't right. Is that a curse? Because <laughs> they stole my grandma's land out from under us, right? <laughs> For 150 versus the 200,000, right? Should have went for mm -hmm. Right, right. Well, like I said, another reason I'm doing this is to show you a Sunday. I'm still here. <laughs> I don't know what happened last night, but I guess and everything went normal. I went to bed at a normal time, right? Watched TV, watched a little bit of SNL, right? They had Bill Burr on, right? If you're not familiar with him, right? He's a comedic actor and uh, was in a movie recently and uh so, Michael Youssef is on uh, TBN today, and then Carrie Shook, The Potter's House with T.E. Jakes, right? Joyce Myers, and then Crossroads with Brian Tomei, or Toom, not sure which. <laughs> then Robert Morris Ministries, and then Joel Olstein, and then Turning Point with Dr. David Jeremiah, right? And then Mike Huckabee, and uh, and then the Eric Me Talks radio show, right? Crefo Dollar, right, with Taffy and his wife, right? But why would Taffy worry about me or Crefo worry about me in Savannah, right? Because see, Taffy don't supposed to know me, you know. She's supposed to be a good Christian lady, right? <laughs> So I'm going to lift her up, right, as a good woman. No one, she don't know me, right, from Adam, right? And I don't know her from Eve, right? And she married a Crefo, so that's Crefo's wife. And you don't mess with someone you know who's married, right? Well, that's what I mean, too. Mary Bell was acting more like she was married to Bart than wanted to be with me, right? After 18 months of just say it, right? <laughs> okay? I'm kind of getting tired of that, right? You know, a brother wants more than that. <laughs> and, and she also knows I'm not a harm to her. I know. I'm a little mad because of Steve and Bart and what's going on with them, right? And she's even engaged to Steve, right? Does your girlfriend get engaged to another guy and you with any of you? You're reading back with still living with him? I know. No, you consider that weird, right? <laughs> I know, <laughs> right, right, but I, I can't do nothing about it because I'm trying to be her boyfriend, but she's acting weird, but she's still be with me once in a while, enough to keep me hanging on as the song goes too, right, but see, you're not showing them everything, right, you're not showing them they can't have premarital sex as long as they get married or go to the father about it, right. Now, if I entice her like what she does, I'm supposed to marry her, right? If she's supposed to marry me, and we can't divorce, technically, right? If you understand what that scripture says, whether I got her pregnant or not, we had sex under a tree in a park. 
I enticed her to do that. <laughs> I didn't know she was waiting for marriage or not. Some people in the church do, Sheena. And some people in the church don't. <laughs> like my friend Myron, right? Now, he's a guy like me. I know. And I'm dating a girl like you, but we're we're from a Baptist Pentecostal background, too. <laughs> Pastor Davis claims to be United Pentecostal background, right? But are you United Pentecostal or Trinitarian Pentecostal? See, I don't even know what type of Pentecostal church you were going out to, right? Because there's even different Pentecostal type churches. Some even believe in the Trinity still and some don't, right? And that's just about Pentecost where they spoke in tongues, right? That's kind of a big thing with the Pentecostals. You got to speak in tongues or you're not saved, right? Well, that's what Pastor Davis was arguing about, too, that you didn't have to do that to be saved, right? Not saying he's wrong there, right? That's a religious matter, right? But, I don't know. It's a gift, right? And it's a sign to unbelievers that the Spirit of God is in you when you speak in tongues. If I spoke in tongues to Mary Bell, right? I didn't know Tagalog yet, right? But I think I said a non ginagwamo pakingamo ko hindi cha. That means, what are you doing? Listen to me, not them. The spirit wouldn't say that to her either. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. It's also saying it to me so she can interpret it back to me, right? And I think I said something about Mary B, right? Which means be committed to Jesus for her. To be committed to me, which is what I was trying to do that there. Mm -hmm. Because right. in the Christian church, Jesus is my head. God is his head. I'm her head. And if we were to have children, she's the head of our children. Right. Like I said, right. But if we're just having each other to husband and wife, and we're not legally married yet, that's part of that too. Mm -hmm. Now, only one of the seven brothers legally married the woman. The rest of them just continue with the raising up of the seed, right? Like with Tamar and the other brothers, I don't know. The one who died was the one she married. The other brother was just having sex with her, but he spilled the seed on the ground, right? See, they confuse that to say you can't masturbate. No. Different thing, right? He was having sex with her, right? Now, in the... Leviticus passage I'm talking about, Moses talks about spilling your seed without a woman on your garment or skin, <laughs> your naked skin. <laughs> and then he talks about having sex with a woman and ejaculating inside her, which is medically the term, right? Okay, that's different, right? One is without a woman, one is with a woman. <laughs> One you can get on your skin or garment, even. <laughs> Damn. Do you understand <laughs> what that might mean? What well, you might be doing there and letting them do <laughs> by yourself. By yourself. Not with another man. <laughs> Didn't say nothing about that. <laughs> but by yourself, if you're doing something to yourself to get yourself stimulated to that point, and your seed of copulation comes out <laughs> on your skin or garment. <laughs> It is worded that way. Verbatim, verbatim. <laughs> you just wash yourself and your skin or garment, everything the semen gets on. <laughs> right? If it's on your bed, you do wash your sheets periodically. Right? Or you feed it with spray or anti disinfectant, whatever. Something. <laughs> but usually you can just wipe it up. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> you can wipe it up till it's dry. <laughs> if you know what I mean, right? It's on your garment. I mean, your sheets. I know. That's a garment. I know. You ever had a toga party? <laughs> Whatever your garment is, though, 
If it gets on your skin and garment, or skin or garment, it's not specific. <laughs> it could be one or the other, too. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. It's implied. It's implied. <laughs> if you're, like, in the bathroom and it gets on your skin, just wash your hands. Like a good gentleman would. <laughs> you see what I mean? And maybe your genitals. You know. <laughs> right. That's okay. That's okay. That's not against the law, is it? Sorry. But that's a different thing. He was having sex with her and did not ejaculate inside of her, right? He instead ejaculated on the ground. And then he died shortly after. Now, there was a younger son, right? And this makes her a cougar, by the way. <laughs> right. Because she's the older woman who married the older brother, but then the older brother died, and then the younger brother didn't come in there. And then there's one more brother, right? There's three brothers, right? But it gets so bad, she has to play the harlot to Jacob, the, I mean, Judah, sorry, not Jacob, but Judah, to get him to sleep with her. Mm -hmm. And that's in the Bible with Samson and Hosea. Mm -hmm. That means even if I sleep with a prostitute and it's a woman, if I'm doing it in a ministry or a prophet status, right, trying to find a wife, right, and considering the prostitute a potential wife even, right, I'm not trying to just have sex with her either, either. Because, see, my wife could be a prostitute. I don't know. My wife could be an adulteress and married to another man. I don't know. Right. But if she is, she married that man because of the confusion in the church. I know. Same with me. Do mm -hmm. you understand? There's confusion in the church as well. All right. <laughs> Over what we can and can't do either, either. But it don't say you can't desire a woman like in a magazine who you don't know, who there's no chance of you beating. <laughs> like Angel in the Sinful. <laughs> thinking don't under the dress, but I was thinking about her dress. <laughs> I wish I'd turned away before she caught my eye. <laughs> I was shaking in my shoes whenever she passed flash old baby booze. <laughs> Something got a hold of me with angels. I swear by. <laughs> um, right. Looking at girls in magazines and there's my home angel on the pages in between. My blood runs cold. Ooh, my Marie has just been so angel in the centerfold. Angel in the centerfold. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> Jesus and Mo Jesus and Moses say, say you can't do that. <laughs> but people in the church who don't read the Bible <laughs> want to pretend you can't do it at all. And, uh, and then Pastor Davis takes advantage of his men, right, and starts telling them they can do it because they're not following the law perfectly either. They're doing something wrong too, right? And he's showing them that. And then he gets them into the masturbation part which confuses them. I know. You know what I mean? Right. And then he becomes a Jim Jones to them, right? And not a good pastor anymore. I know. See, he's also using it to get them to do it with him. I know. You understand? Right. Just like Jim Jones wanted them to go down the guy with him and all that, right? And turn out to be an asshole and don't drink. Kool-Aid's where that comes from. That's supposed to be a church leader. Do you see what these evil men are doing in the name of Jesus? Right. And no, it's not Jesus. It's Satan within the church still. Right. If Satan's still in the church, we gotta cast him out, people, or you're not doing your job. <laughs> you're just as bad as the, you know, unbelievers, right? Then, <laughs> you make the cross of Christ of done effect, like, it says in Hebrews, right? You can't get rebaptized every time you make a mistake either, either. There's supposed to be one baptism for the repentance of your sins. And after that, you confess them like a real man, right? That's why I know I didn't touch my stepdaughter. I would never do that, right? But I would bring her back to her mom if she just wandered in there in the middle of the night, right? Or she stayed with her mom all night long. You were not there, though, to tell me one way or the other, I know. 
And when you keep saying we and I'm one person, earth, you're still trying to gang up on me because you know you're doing something wrong to me. I know. You're acting like you're more than one person. That's another way to bully someone. No, no. Even if it's just, just you and me arguing about it. No, no. By now, too, right? Because, like I said, the more you argue, the more you get yourself in trouble. Too, too. But if you're telling your side of a story, that's different, too. I'm saying my stepdaughter wouldn't even come in there with my ex wife was watching her now, you know. But they know she did Daphne. <laughs> Only Sal or someone like that, a maze, right? Could accuse me of that. If we're talking about me and how I got off the window ledge, right? And there's three ways I could have lowered myself down all the way to the ground, right? And just jump easily, or I could have jumped from the window ledge. One time in ninja style, like uh, Lucinda Dickey in Ninja 3 The Domination, or I could have flipped back up onto the roof, right, and went down the same way I got up the first time, right? I had three options there, and because of the amnesia, I don't remember anything, right? But I know I'm on base. I know I can't get off base. I would have to call you maybe for a shirt or something. But did I do all that? Mm-hmm. The night of the fall? Mm-hmm. No, no. These are yes or no questions you would be asked in court anyway. I know. Did Shane call you, Miss Walker? Did, uh, the night he fell and you would say no. <laughs> he had no reason to call me. He was on base. He supposedly was injured in the vault, right? Right, right. And when we split up, he moved back to base. If something happened, I would have done reported it, right? That's what you say, I know. <laughs> That way they can't say it anymore. Right? And I know what my husband is saying. If she went in there, he would bring her back to me. I know, right? Or she never went in there, do. And she was in there with me all night. What, what are they trying to say? I know. Because they're the ones trying to say it who aren't eyewitnesses, right? That's what I mean. <laughs> the only real eyewitness is you between me and your daughter. Anyway, I got the schizophrenia and she's... You know, only four. <laughs> so she's not going to really remember anything, is she? No, no. These are yes or no questions, too. Like in a trial, but no trial. Right? You never even accused me of doing that, did you? <laughs> not until I got on YouTube. <laughs> then you started accusing me? Or is it someone on base who attacked me <laughs> when I was around them because they're in the gay navy or something and I told them about being married to you as trying to calm them down and talk to them about my situation versus theirs without judging them on the condemnation kind of either. But again, it got out of hand and they attacked me, you know, on base. Right. And I told them about being married to you and you having a stepdaughter, but your daughter was in there with you all night. Right? See, I don't remember what all I said to them either, either. But they seem ready for what I'm saying, right? There's a difference between me talking about it 20 days later, right, on base, and us going to the police, or you and your daughter going to the police and reporting it, too, right? That never happened, though, did it, right? Either, either. <clears throat> and I know you're a good enough mother that you were mad enough with me that if you let me stranded in Tennessee, I know you're going to report my ass to the police, right? Right. That's what I mean, too. Right. You wouldn't let that fly. <laughs> right. And I know you're a good mom. I'm not saying you're not. I'm not saying your mother ain't. No, no. By saying she's the only one who would be able to potty train her. Right. That's what I mean. No, no. Or if she came in there, she might have done that with grandma and woke up someone sleeping on the couch, say, for dinner or something. But it's still not a crime if she did that with grandma either. Right. You know what I mean? No. Now, the worst, like I said, is the potty training, right? Okay, say she, I thought she had to pee and I pulled down her panties, right? Did I have to go pee, but she didn't go pee, so I made sure she didn't already pee. <laughs> then I smelled her, right? Didn't smell anything, or I smelled a little something. Thought she needed a bath or a shower. 
thought to give her one, but then changed my mind. That still made up. <laughs> right? <laughs> but that could have happened with her, or your brother, or, but it's not a crime. I know. <laughs> Whole point there. I know. If I do that, I'm trying to help the child either figure out what she's doing in there, right? Go to the bathroom, right? It's the most logical thing, right? And then if she lingers or she don't go, I got to wonder whether she wanted a shower or a bath or she's still by the bathroom, right? right? Maybe she wanted a bath and you didn't make her that night. I don't remember all that detail either, but come on, we're, we're guessing, we're guessing. Not saying it happened, we're guessing what happened, right? Mm -hmm. What they're talking about. What I would talk about to the shipmates on base. Not me and you ever discussed this. Sure. Either. either. Mm -hmm. Right. Because we wouldn't have to. I don't know. If she was in there with you all night. Right? Only if she wandered in there to me. And then I would bring her back to you. You know that too. What I mean there too. Right. I know. I, I know we both understand that. Right. Right. That I would bring her back to you. She wandered in there anyway. And uh, as fast as we resolve whatever situation we're in. Right. I know. <laughs> That's all I mean there, right? And I think you trust me enough to know what I mean there, too. That if she did come in there, I was supposed to bring her back to you. And I know that, Daphne. I know she's not supposed to be in there with me to bring her back to you, right? right? That's what I'm supposed to do as her stepdad. If she's in there with me, you know. And not let her be in there more than she needs to be, right? <laughs> and bring her back to you as soon as possible, you know. Like I said, making up the stories with that included as well on the, in a chain of events, right? That might could have unfolded or not, right? Too. So. But when you're making something up, you don't need to deny it. You see what I mean, right? It never happened. <laughs> but if it kind of happened, it still kind of happened differently to what I'm saying. But only one story would really fit the bill. But there again, they don't know what happened either. So we're arguing about it on base probably. Right? And I'm telling them the same thing I'm telling you now. Right. Just guessing again what I might would say. Right. But not sure. Not sure. If I said anything. Right. I also don't know I wasn't knocked out by the building. Didn't hit it at a bad angle. That's what caused the damage. I don't know. Right. But they seem to act like they know something they're not supposed to know. So who is it? The shipmates? Both during Sheena? Are they hiding something? Is it Sheena? Is it Mary Bell? Is it Daphne? Is it Scott? Is it... <laughs> Just questions. Is it my mom? <laughs> she might have said grandma in the story too. Right. Calls grandma Razor. Right. See, I'm explaining why, how I'm making up the story why I would say that, and you might say that, right? But I ain't saying she did. <laughs> Only if she came in there to me that I would ask her who shared that, and I think she might would say Grandma, right? Not that Grandma did anything wrong. <laughs> or me and her, I know. Whole point there, too. We didn't do nothing wrong. Nobody did. Nobody did. We're just dealing with it as a hypothetical, right? If it were to happen, what would occur? Well, she would come in there, wake me up, and her crotch would kind of be in my face, and I'd ask her who showed her that, if she were to do that anyway, and uh, as you might would say, Grandma, and uh, and then I would bring her back to you as soon as I realized whatever business she had in there with me, if it was real business or not, right? Then uh, too, so to bring her back to you, right? As soon as we're figured out what's going on, and, uh, even if it's nothing, she's not supposed to be in there with me at all. Still got to bring her back to you, right? <laughs> and that's what I would do. Period, period. No matter whose child it is as well. Mm -hmm. You got to bring her back to her mom when she comes in there to you. Right? Why are they acting like that's schizophrenic anyway? <laughs> it ain't what you're supposed to do? No, it is. No, it is. <laughs> and only an idiot would understand that who's kind of gay and kind of dealing with something. Right? He don't want a woman. He don't want a child. Right? I did with you. I know. I wanted to raise Jonathan and Amanda with you, right? And I would have, you know, done that as normally as possible too, right? <laughs> Had it went that way. I, I would have 
teach her to tie her shoes. I would have taught her to get dressed in the morning for school and stuff like that. Like I had to do. You know? Or I, we had to do with Renee. You know? And so, again, I joined the military, right? And that's the point, too. I you know. My mom would have to get Renee ready for school or she'd be over at my grandma's or, right? <laughs> I'm aware of all that going on around me, right? And, again, you want your wife to think you know how to handle that, right? If it would have happened anyway, I know. Uh, not that you would molest your daughter, <laughs> you know better than that, right? Well, then you're getting into it being the wife and trapping you, right? That's why I told that alternative story as well. See, another thing you're forgetting is if she's in there with her mom, she's more responsible to watch her daughter than me on the other. <laughs> That's just legalities there, right? She's the custodial parent. I'm the step-parent sleeping on the couch. I'm telling you, my duties are, if she does come in there with me, all I can do is legally assess the situation to help her out. Say she's going to the bathroom, like I said. Well, I can only help her pee or take a shower with me. Can't do more than that either. Or it's weird. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's not a crime. I know it's not a crime. To help her pee or take a shower. <laughs> with me. But then you think better of that. <laughs> Too, idiot. You don't really do it. <laughs> but you could have. But you know better. And wouldn't. Right? <laughs> and how do you know I did? you have to do the same thing? <laughs> Did you have to get help your daughter go to the pool or something? <laughs> or did you have to wash her? Did you uh, bathe her or shower, take a shower with her or something? Right? That would be sal too. All right. He wouldn't have to do that with his daughter. He wouldn't have to bathe her or <laughs> was that girlfriend. <laughs> did a girlfriend do all that? <laughs> Daphne, when she was with him. <laughs> Someone has to bathe the child. <laughs> Someone has to give her a shower or a bath. Someone has to help her go to the bathroom when it's time for her to go to the bathroom, right? You see what I mean? None of this stuff was criminal for anyone, really. You see what I mean? <laughs> Not even selling the girlfriend. If they're what? Doing their parental duties, right? That's all I would be able to do with her, too, with you in the other room. I ain't that dumb. <laughs> I know you could catch me at any moment with that shit, too. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to... Uh -uh. <laughs> Do none of that if I don't have to, right? Either, either. <laughs> Whole point of the story, right? I could have done it, but I didn't. I know better, right? Bye.